we're going to take what we know about arcs and start applying it to chords. And remember, chords were lines that go through a circle and connect to the end to the outside of the circle in two spots. So, chord arc theorem. If uh, let's make this more generic. If two congruent arcs, then two congruent chords. So in this case, if arc AB is congruent to arc CD, then chord AB is congruent to chord CD. So, distance from the chord to a center. So how do you measure the distance to something? It's the straight line distance from one thing to another. Um, if you were measuring your distance to the nearest wall, you would walk as short as possible. You would walk in a straight line to that wall, forming a right angle. The shortest distance to this chord AB is a right angle, which forms a right angle here. Um, this is the most commonly mistakenly drawn picture. You have to connect the chord to the center through a right angle. So, radius chord theorem. If you draw a radius and it forms a right angle, it actually splits the chord into two equal parts. Uh, that's going to be important because what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing this triangle here and finding this, which is the radius, because the radius connects the outside of the circle to the center of the circle. Chord distance theorem says if two chords are congruent, then they are always the same distance from the center. I didn't leave myself enough room for this. Same distance from the center. So here, if AC is congruent to chord DF, then BG is congruent to GE. So if this chord here is the same congruency as this chord, then I know that BG is congruent to GE. So find the distance from the center of a circle to a chord 30 meters long if the radius is 17. So first thing, let's put our center here. Uh, I want to draw a circle around that. Now, most important part here, draw the chord first. If you draw the chord first, it's going to save you a lot of uh, potential issues. So here's my chord. Uh, that chord is 30 meters. We know the radius is 17. Now a specific radius that I want to draw is one that connects to the end of the chord. This radius here is 17. And now I want to draw the perpendicular line to the chord. Now. We're trying to find that distance. The chord radius theorem says this gets split in half. So this is 15 over here. This is 15 over here. Now what 15 and 17 make a right triangle? It's 8. That's one of your triples. So the distance from this chord to the center is 8. Next one. Same idea. The diameter of the circle is 26. I want to find the length, oops, I want to find the length of a chord knowing that information. So here's my circle. I have the diameter being 26. Let's not draw it yet. Distance to the center with the chord is 5. How long is the chord? I'm going to start by drawing my chord. Now I'm going to connect my chord to the center. Now if the diameter is 26, that means R is 13. I'm going to label that 13, and the distance to the chord in a right angle is 5. 5, what, and 13? This is 12, which makes this 12 also. So the length of the chord, let's label this A and B, chord AB is 
24 and we're using units of inches. So radius of the circle is 10, PQ, this chord here is congruent to this chord here, and I know PQ is 16. So I'm actually going to not write 16, I'm going to write 8 and 8 and 8 and 8. Uh, PB is 8, already answered that. BQ is 8, already answered that. I need to find OB, and I know RS, since the chords are congruent, RS is going to be 16 as well. So, to find OB, I need to draw on a radius. The radius connects the center to an endpoint on the circle. I'm going to draw that. I know the radius is 10, so I need to find what third side forms a triangle using 8 and 10. 8 or 10 is 5 times 2, 4 times 2. This has got to be 3 times 2 because it's a multiple of a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So OB ends up being 6. Now these two chords are congruent again. Same type of picture, same congruent distance, same congruent chords. These are split in half. These are split in half as well. Uh, we know that DE is 24. We know AB is 4x plus 6. We know FG is 10x minus 6. I need to find AB. I need to find x to do that. And then I want to find the radius. So these two chords are congruent. 4x because the distance to the center is congruent. So subtract 4x, add 6, x is 2. So when I go to plug in 2, 8 plus 6, this chord is 14. This chord is also 14, 20 minus 6. So AB is equal to 14. Now I need to find the radius. When I draw in the radius, let's go with purple. I can draw it in any, oh, I should probably draw a straight line from here to here. Since that's 14, I know that this is 7, 7, 24, and my radius DF is going to be 25 because 7, 24, 25 is one of your right triangle triples. Uh, so right triangle triples are not going away. They actually show up more in this chapter, uh, and they show up pretty frequently. Just remember, radius always connects to the end of a chord, like I did right here, and the distance to the chord always forms a right angle.